Alright, so we've had a lot of the T12 8 foot style bulbs going out in the shop space in the ceiling. And I'm not out to. I'm not certain if it's the bulbs are bad or the balances are bad, but if we're going to go up there and replace them, then I wanted to replace it with something a little bit more modern because I don't want to have to replace ballasts and stuff too if the ballasts are bad. So um, what I, I chose to replace them with these LED bulbs, and this specifically is the Hako brand LED bulbs. They're 8 foot T8 single pin bulbs. So it's the same, same pin, pin shape as the original fluorescent bulbs. There's two different types of these LED bulbs. There's ones which you can use with your original ballast, and those are the easiest to install. You can just swap out the bulbs and that's it. And there's ones that are ballast bypass. I chose a ballast bypass because if the ballasts are bad, then I would have to replace the ballast. And this makes it a little bit more, I would say, future-proof because then we can, um, we can easily replace the bulb and not have to worry about replacing ballasts in the future. We may not even have to remove them because we just have to re re bypass the wires and it shouldn't be that bad because there's wire nuts on all the ballasts and we can just undo the wire nuts and bypass it and even just leave the ballast in place so we don't even have to dispose of the ballast. This is how they arrive in the box and I ordered 10 of them because we have at least 8 that are out and there's probably more that are going to be going out soon and so looks like pretty well packaged. These are not glass, I think these are, I think these are plastic. What do you think? Is that glass or plastic? Looks like. Looks like plastic. plastic. Yeah. It's plastic. So there's definitely a side that's like, that's like up, and then you would put the, the open side, side down. So there's a label back here, that's the, uh, right, the, the top side. This is a comparison of the ends of these tubes. The original fluorescent tube is on the right side, and the Hako LED tube is on the left side, and it looks like the pins are very similar. And should that means that the LED light should fit into the original holder of the fluorescent bulb. The wiring in these lights is a little bit different than what kind of what the instructions show. There's two lights, there's two bulbs, and I've already I've put one in here. I'm gonna take it out for right now. Got it. The first thing is here's the ballast. And I've already removed the wires from the ballast. So the ballast is no longer hooked up and the wires are removed and it's just going to sit there. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to take it out. Just, if I take it out, i got to dispose of it somewhere and I'll just leave it. At this end, we have the black and white wires coming from the connectors at the ends. And something that threw me off at first is that those connectors at the ends are also connected to the power, but I thought I kept measuring the, the power on here to test. I wasn't getting any power on this and it wasn't with just one bulb in there. It wasn't working. So what I realized is the holes here have two contacts in there and one contact is the power coming in. One contact is the power going back out on these wires to the ballast such that if you're using the fluorescent lights and uh, you don't have the fluorescent lights put into the fixture, there will be no power going to the ballast. There's only power going to the ballast when the lights are in the fixture. So in order for power to come through on these wires, the lights have to be in. And that's probably just a safety feature too, is like you don't have to, you actually don't have to turn off the power. Well, I, I don't make recommend this, but you wouldn't actually have to turn off the power to service the ballast or work on these wires because when you remove the light bulb from this style of connector, then the power goes out on these wires. Now, you should always turn the power off to the lights and flip the breaker off when you're working with the, the electricity and you're fixing the stuff because there is power coming to that socket from the other side, from the other end, from the, from the, main, the main power lines going through here. Um, so we have this black on the, on the left side and the white on the right side. And so uh, the, the wire runs over here and it used to go to the it used to go to the ballast, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that to this under, other end over here, to these blue and red wires, and I'm going to connect the, the black to the red, because what that's going to do, that's going to create a full loop. So here the black and the red are going to be connected together, and that's going to create a 
complete loop because the white is going to be on that end, bulb on the right side, and then on this end, it's going to be the black wire, which is the hot wire. So hot wire on this end, and then the neutral wire on that end, and vice versa on the left on the left bulb. When you're looking at it in this direction, the left bulb has the black wire on that end, and then I'm going to take the white wire and connect it to the blue wire, so it's got the neutral on this end and the hot line load wire on that end. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show this again. So I have these, these are the two, the two smaller wires are the wires that are connected directly to the lights. The black is on the left side, the white is on the right side, and then it comes over here. And then I have the white is connected to the blue, which passes to the other bulb, the other side, the other bulb. And then the black is connected to the red, which passes to the other bulb that's on the, it's the right side bulb from what we were just talking about. And then the blue wire is hooked up to the left side bulb. Okay, we're gonna power this up and do a quick test with the bulbs in place. Go ahead. So the lights didn't turn on after I replaced the LEDs and the reason was that the ends were pretty um, badly damaged. Uh, this end is burned out, it's uh, melted and, and is breaking apart and the contacts is bad and the, I think the wire inside is bad too. So this one looks okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and just replace both of them on this end because this one's not doing so good. And I think the other end is also not great. So here is the replacement part that I got. It's not the same. And this one is a 2534 and the replacement part is 2536. So the shape looks different, but it's supposed to be a direct drop in for that. So first thing to do is to take the wire out, use a small screwdriver here, push it in there, then you can pull the wires out. And this should just slide out, just like that. And slide this new new one in. Okay. Now you can put the wires back in here and I think you just shove the wire in, in into this hole. These holes are, this is this one is different a little bit. Maybe into the corner one. Yeah, it looks like it goes in the corner one. And then this is the hole used to release, but this that's a smaller hole. It takes like I think you can use a, you have to use a wire to release it. Yeah, that works. So it goes in there. And then the other one goes in this side. Okay, this is ready to be put back up. For the other end, which is all, can also be damaged on that one light, this is what they gave me, and it doesn't look exactly like the mounts. You know, if, if the mounts are the, are the same for both ends, I'm not sure, it looks a little bit different. They said that they said it should be compatible. We'll, we'll see, but. So at this end of the light fixture, this just this just snaps in and out like that. Just press it in, and snap it out if you need to, um, or when you need to, snap it out like that. And then this is the old connector here. And this is the old one here, and I slid in the new one, and the new one slides in slides in just fine, even though it had a quite a different shape to it. It fits in there, and they said it should be compatible with it. It's a different brand. It's not the Leviton brand. But this was easier than, um, whoops, and this wire is loose, which means that uh, something, something is loose in there, and that might explain 
the bad connection. It's hard to tell if this is burned out in here, but we're going to go ahead and it's not the contact is not great. We're going to go ahead and replace that. Contact is not terrible, but it's not that great. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. All right, so added some support clips. Came with these support clips. I think these support clips are important because the plastic tube is a lot more flexible than the glass tube and also under the heat, because these do get warm, it could um, kind of flex down a lot more. So I think that's probably why they include these clips and they just, they include a um, sheet metal screw that just drills into here pretty easily. I had to bend the clips together a little bit because the clips are designed for, it looks like a larger tubing. Okay, go, let's give it a go. Lights on. Yay! Okay, works. Look at those are pretty dim over there, the fluorescent bulbs. So I haven't completed replacing all the lights yet, but already the ones we replaced, which are these ones that are high up on the ceiling here, we replaced these two sit pairs and replaced this, this one over here that's really bright where the ladder is. You can see the difference in brightness. It's hard to see on the on the phone really, um, but um, in person you can really see a huge difference between the brightness between them on the left with LEDs on the right, the original fluorescent bulbs. So it's made a big difference in the amount of light in this space. Here you can see the difference there. There's like more glare on the, from the LED bulbs, but I mean they're so high up that uh, it's easy on the eyes and the color is more red a little bit more warmer it's more it feels uh more natural like more natural light in here so that's really nice it's a great addition uh, i'm really liking how it's, how it's turning out and highly recommend these led bulbs or changing over to led bulbs